How are you? Oh, thank you. Um, couldn't stay away? You're already bored being home? I have an AP so I'm going to take the bus. I need to take the bus at 11. Oh, at 11, gotcha. I was going to say, you're you're running late. <laughs> I think it's about to start. So, Yeah, thank you. I appreciate this. Have a good summer. You too. should have gone off a minute ago but again there's still no bells uh, the rest of this week due to AP testing so I had asked you on Monday as part of your homework to turn in 121 and 122 so if you forgot about that had trouble with that whatever you can still get full points but I need those from you here at the start of class so either get them in the Google classroom in the next two minutes or just give me your hard copies and I'll get them back to you I also need to remind you what the plan is for today and well actually I guess we've got so few days I can go ahead and give you the plan for the rest of school um, so even though you worked on the test review last class the test is not today obviously otherwise we would have been started by now um, but the test will be on Friday so I basically switched what the original plan was for Friday with the original plan today that way if you felt like this unit was rushed Again, some of you remember all this from Algebra 2, and I know it's really easy. Some of you don't remember it from Algebra 2, and so just trying to give you some more time to get it together for this last unit exam. So what I would like out of you guys today is uh, really today should be focused on semester test review. It really shouldn't be focused on test review because that was what we looked at last class. But So the order I'd like you to do things is on the semester test review, I'm asking specifically for you to work questions 38 through 44 unless you have worked those already because I have asked you to do a few that you got to pick and choose and the whole point of questions 38 through 44 are these are question types that are going to be on Friday's test and semester test review so by insisting that you do those before the test on Friday it's a two-for-one situation. You're getting a little more practice, but you're also getting a chunk of the semester test review done. So please do that first. And of course, if there's any of that you need help with, then you should ask because all of that 
you know, if it's important enough to probably be on the semester test, it's definitely important enough to be on the unit exam. So today would be the day to figure that out. So if you would please do that first. Then again, you really should have gotten your studying for the unit exam basically finished last class. But if you need a few minutes, if you need a few questions answered before you feel like you're ready for that test, check that off your list second. And then finally, I'm asking that you do any other 10 more questions from the semester test review. So before class today, I had picked out five specific ones I wanted you to do. Then I asked you to do five of your choice, which got you up to 10. I'm asking you to start off class today with those specific seven, which puts you at 17. And at the end of class today, any other 10, which should put you at 27. Now, the way I count these questions, uh, some of these questions have more than one part. I'm thinking of this whole thing having 45 questions. So question two just has one part. Question three has two parts. You have to do both parts of question three for that to count as a question. So, and again, even if you plan on exempting the final, we do require most, if not all, the semester exam review to be finished. Exactly how much just depends on how much class time we have, uh, or how much class time we give you towards it. So. I believe I can't give you information about exemptions till next Monday. I think Monday morning is probably the day they're going to come out. So that will also be the last time I see you. So that will be part of what we do next Monday. And that will be your last chance to finish up semester test review and uh, ask any questions or much you want to ask. And I'll tell you all the things about note cards and calculators and all that kind of stuff but again that's not really our priority today our priority today is getting a chunk of the semester test review done but also making sure you're prepared for this last unit test so i don't want to pile on um, and give you more more information than that but i suspect if you don't have to have the semester test review finished it will need to be basically finished or it will need to be completely finished to exempt. So those of you that think you're exempt in this final, that could be the last thing that you need to do. So again, even though I'm asking you to do those seven at the start of class and any other 10 at the end of class, you probably have a little more incentive to just go ahead and keep on working and, and trying to finish it up because um, that might be the last thing that you need to do and then you could put your, your focus into other courses. So. Okay, I'm going to get out of your way here for a few minutes. So again, I'll leave the agenda up, but please do those seven specific questions from the semester test review. If you don't have your semester test review with you, I do have some extra copies. Then double check that you're ready for Friday's test. If not, use the next chunk of class time to prepare for that. Ask me the questions you need to ask me, etc. And then finally, at the end of class, work any 10 other questions from the semester test review. They can be the easiest ones. Just to get 10 done, that's perfectly fine, as long as you're making progress on it. OK, any questions about the plan today or the assignment today or the test on Friday? The test Friday will be no calculator. I feel like that's kind of obvious because all that rational function stuff if you could just graph it in a calculator, then you could just look at the graph and not really know anything about what you're doing. So, Okay, so of course I will be here to answer any questions that pop up. And going through that, just let me know, please. Always happy to come to your desk, or you can bring it up here, whatever's easier for you.
Is this 122? That is... Yes, 122. Almost oh, actually, today we did it in class. Can I turn it on up in the class today? Yes. Um, well, I don't know if you can do the whole thing by the end of class, because some of those questions are a little time consuming at first. But only the first nine were required. Okay. The others are just optional practice if you feel like you need it still. Also, with the test being next class, if you did not turn in 121 or 122, of course you can still get late credit for those, but only up until the test, which is the start of next class. So that potentially could be something to add to your to-do list. Also, I'm asking you to turn in, um, well, I thought it was, let me refresh this. I'm also asking you to turn in the test review that you worked through on class last time. So that's opened up in Google Classroom, so I need that before we start the test on Friday. But with the test being Friday, if uh, any of this stuff was incomplete or late, make sure you have it in before that, since that would be your last chance to get some of your points back.